What's up, Gorf Squad? Famox here from Game On Your Face. Now, I know I said I was going to review Flashback Bertuzzi, but the new 87 McDavid came out, and I got flooded with requests. But before we start, I gotta give my thanks to Ballistic Matt and Matthew Rice for becoming my newest patrons. So here we go. Let's take a look at the new gold Connor McDavid. Here's the rules. He'll play for 7 games on a 100 chemistry line. He'll not be assigned any boosts or captaincy cards. The overall grade is based on 5 stats. Puck skills, skating, shooting, physical, and defensive. His current average price is 100k, putting him in the same price range as Duchesne and Carter. Puck skills. He gets a 7.5. McDavid doesn't feel like much of a dangler. His stick movement is slow and his deeks are clunky. If you get in tight and need to make a reactionary deke, McDavid will probably fumble the puck or get stripped. However, he is an amazing passer, better than a lot of high level playmakers in the game. He just had a knack for getting the puck where he wants even through heavy traffic. Skating. He gets a 6.5. Just like his deking, McDavid's skating is sluggish. He has one good burst per shift, but after a few seconds, it all goes out the window. He has little to no acceleration and needs almost half the ice to get to his top speed. The same goes for his agility. I really didn't feel much of a difference compared to his bronze card. Shooting. He gets a 7. McDavid's wrist shot was pretty weak and very inaccurate. He missed the majority of his snipe attempts, especially while on the move. However, he does have a powerful and dangerous slap shot. It still suffered from somewhat of an accuracy issue, but it wasn't as bad as his wrister and was much more capable of finding the back of the net. Physical. He gets a 7.5. This is definitely one of McDavid's strengths. He has pretty good balance and is great at maintaining control of the puck while battling through checks. He feels very sturdy, especially when using the protect the puck button. That being said, you can't overdo it as he seems to lose stability when he gets fatigued and will become easier to knock over. Defensive. He gets an 8.5. McDavid was a very effective player in the defensive end. His ability to intercept passes was on par with guys like Bergeron. He also had a long reach, but that worked both for and against him. Like I said for his puck skills, his stick movement is clunky. So if you aren't careful with your pokes, he will very easily find his way to the penalty box. And as for his face-offs, he was decent. He won 15 out of 30, putting him exactly at 50%. But keep in mind that those were on the first line, so I think he would be a good enough face-off man for the third or second line. Total points. In 7 games, he got 3 goals and 5 assists for a total of 8 points. His overall grade comes to 7.4 out of 10, or 74%. McDavid's 74% might seem low, but that's 1% above what I gave Monaghan and 1 below McKinnon. So as an 87 overall, he ranks pretty close to other players in his range. He's good defensively and has outstanding passing skills. He also possesses a blistering slap shot. However, his wrist shot accuracy is weak and his skating is mediocre. So I would say McDavid would make for a great third, maybe second line center. He can probably hold his own in the face-off circle against other third-line guys, but I wouldn't put him out there for the PP or PK. So should you pick him up for 100,000 coins? Absolutely not. The reason he's priced so high right now is because he's new and exciting. Eventually his price will settle, possibly around 70 to 50k, and at that range I would say he's a decent pickup. So that concludes this review. Next one will definitely be the Bertuzzi review and giveaway. If you've already tried Flashback Bert, then you can click the link in the description and take part in the community review. Also, if you're a patron, go ahead and vote for who I should review after Bertuzzi. And if you're new here, don't be afraid to click that subscribe button to join the Golf Squad, where I provide in-depth reviews so you can make informed decisions. I'm Famox, and I'll see you in the next one.